I'm Jason Barr. It was during COVID when South Point hosted an outdoor wrestling meet. Well, today, a first for Sunnyside High School. Its duel was also done out of necessity outside, but it helped turn a regular season contest into a showcase event. Innovation solves problems, and with Sunnyside's main gym under construction, Blue Devils Athletic Director Casey O'Brien planned for perennial girls wrestling powers, Sunnyside and Liberty, to compete outside on the football field. Our girls are excited. You know, everybody's going to watch them. They get to showcase their talent, their hard work. There was some extra preparation, like getting power set up, but it's not the first time we've seen indoor events outside. Earlier this year, 92,000 fans watched the Nebraska volleyball team compete Pete at its football stadium. I think everybody saw that. Sunnyside students were given the opportunity during six period to come out with their teachers and watch the outdoor wrestling. <laughs> and they had a good look at the two teams that competed for last year's state title. A duel in which Sunnyside was the runner up. But today, defending individual 107 pound state champion Ilyana Castaneda with an early pin for Sunnyside to give that crowd something to get excited about on this sunsplash day. Oh, it's a little hot, but I think it made it a lot better, a lot more exciting, honestly. Usually we're inside, but being outside is something new, so it was really good. During an intermission, legendary Sunnyside boys wrestler Roman Bravo Young was introduced. RBY was a three-time All-American at Penn State after going undefeated at Sunnyside. How would you describe the atmosphere out here? You know, it's good. We got kids oh. out here watching girl wrestling. This didn't happen when I was around or even a thing. So it's just cool to, cool to see. There's a good amount of good crowd out here, and uh, it's a pretty awesome thing going on. The duel lasted just one hour. Head coach William Olivas' Blue Devils won it when America Lopez pinned her opponent in the final match. Sunnyside avenging its loss in last year's state championship under the Arizona Sun. Our administration, our coaching staff, you know, got all this put together, all these students, you know, cheering on our girls, and, you know, it's